Michael Taylor has diabetes, a condition that requires frequent reviews and monitoring by his doctor. So when he received a letter from his surgery explaining all his GPs plan to resign by the end of June, he started to worry. Uh, my doctors understand my, my condition. They've been helping me maintain it in good, in good condition for many years now, 25 years, and they're going to go and that knowledge will go with them. Um, and there's nothing in the letter that gives you any reason why or any comfort that they will be able to solve the problem. It's a very worrying position to be in. And outside the Kiteg practice, many patients feel equally concerned about the change. They know everything about me, so I'll have to go through everything again with new doctors, and I don't think it's fair. I know there's a lot of people who are trying to find other doctors now, like, and transfer it to different surgeries. And... Well, in the worst case scenario, there'll be no medical cover whatsoever for anybody, will there, around this area? I mean, I use the surgery quite a lot with the baby, and they know her history, so it's easy to ring up for prescriptions and appointments and things, whereas a brand new surgery, new doctors, they have to go through the whole process all over again. For now, the health board says it won't be reassigning any patients to other surgeries. Instead, they say they're trying to find new GP partners for this practice by the 1st of July. In the meantime, though, drop-in sessions have been organised so patients can discuss any concerns they have with healthcare professionals. The surgery itself has declined to comment, so for the thousands of patients who rely on this community care, they can only wait and hope for a solution. Alexandra Hartley, ITV News, Cumbran.